I'm Emily of British Girl Bakes and I'm going to show you how to make your own stencils and how to use them to make stunning cake designs. The first step is to choose a material for your stencil. Parchment paper is cheap and easy to find and it's easy to cut into whatever shape you like. But it's flimsy, so it's most effective for very basic shapes, like a heart or a star. Acetate is more expensive than parchment and you'll have to look in an arts and crafts shop or on Amazon to find it. It's a bit trickier to cut into a shape than parchment paper is, but it's thicker and stronger, so you can use it for more intricate designs. After choosing a material, the second step is to choose a design. This will need to be simple for parchment, which is delicate and will smudge very detailed shapes. You can create more intricate designs with acetate. If you print your design, resize it on the computer first, so that it will fit nicely onto your cake. You can use a cookie cutter instead if you have one that's the right shape and size. How you create your stencil depends on the material you're using. For parchment, you'll need a pen or pencil and a pair of scissors. You can sketch your shape and then skewer the middle of the shape with your scissors and then cut around the outline to remove the shape from the parchment, leaving the outline intact and this will become your stencil. If you're using a cookie cutter for your design, trace around the shape and then cut that out the same way skewering the middle with your scissors and trimming around the outline. It's fine to damage the shape because it's only the outside part that we need. To trace your shape, place parchment over your design, taping it down or holding it steady and draw over the outline. You can simplify the design if you want to, then cut it out. As you can see, it's quite fast to cut a design out of parchment paper, and I'll show you the difference in the process for acetate now. For acetate, you'll need a cutting board, some tape, and scissors. For an intricate design, like this map, place it on a surface like a cutting board that you can cut into, and then use a sharp knife or a box cutter to cut through the acetate in the middle of each large section of the design, to give you a place to poke your scissors through. Then curve the scissors around to cut out the design. Because acetate is thicker than parchment, this is more time-consuming than using parchment paper, but you'll see the benefits of acetate later on in the process. For a simple design, like a heart, you can just cut the shape straight out of the acetate, just like you would do with parchment paper. Now that you've made your stencil, it's almost time to use it on your cake. But before applying your stencil, leave your cake in the fridge for at least an hour, or ideally overnight, so the frosting gets very cold and really hard. I hope you're enjoying the fun animations I made for this video. Hang in there for one minute for a free gift. I took a class on Skillshare called Quick and Easy Stop Motion by Colette Perry, which taught me the basics and I've had way too much fun making my own stop motion videos. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. There are classes on lots of different skills you can use in your cake designs, like illustration and painting. Skillshare is designed specifically for learning, so there are no ads and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and I've partnered with them so that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a free trial of premium membership to explore and get inspired. To attach your stencil to your cake, you can hold it against the cake, pressing it firmly to make sure it doesn't slide around. This works better with simple shapes than very detailed shapes. For more security, pin the stencil into your cake by wrapping it tightly around the cake and then pressing a pin into each side to hold it still while leaving both of your hands free. If you don't want to push pins into the cake, you can wrap the stencil around the cake and then use another piece of parchment or acetate to overlap the stencil, taping the two pieces together, and wrap it around the whole cake and then tape the other side too so that you've created a tight wrap around the cake. To add colour to your design, spread buttercream over the shape onto the exposed cake within the shape you cut out of the stencil. Spread from the stencil over onto the shape, not from the shape out over the stencil, because that might push buttercream underneath the outline of the stencil and that will smudge your design. This is especially important for parchment because it's very thin and flimsy, so buttercream can be easily pushed under it. When you've covered up the whole design with buttercream, you can either smooth it with your offset spatula or a frosting smoother, or you can apply texture with your offset spatula. Now for step six. Peel the stencil off straight away before the buttercream sets for the neatest outline. If there are any smudges in your outline, you can scrape them off with a toothpick or offset spatula. 
And because the base frosting on the cake is cold and hard, you won't damage it as you scrape off the smudged frosting from the stencil design. Sprinkles can be a nice finishing touch for an otherwise simple stencil design. Press them into the outline of the shape either one by one or by scooping up a handful and angling your hand to press the whole handful of sprinkles into the edge of the shape. Because the base frosting on the cake has set, it isn't sticky, so the sprinkles won't stick to that, only to the fresh buttercream you've just spread onto the stencil. For more ways to use sprinkles, check out my tutorial on 5 sprinkle cake hacks, and the link is in the top of the screen and in the video description. I can't wait to see what you create. Please tag British Girl Bakes in your photos on Instagram so I can see your beautifully stenciled cakes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.